Inside Bremerton. This is our City of Bremerton video newsletter, focusing on issues and topics important to its citizens. Well, I guess you're wondering where we're at today with this big metal beast. We're at our public works complex on Oyster Bay Road. Specifically, we're in the electronics bay. This is where equipment is delivered, programmed for our traffic light system in the city. And with me to talk about something fabulous is Cynthia Ingelgau, my friend from Bremerton Parks and Recreation. What we're gonna talk about today is the utility cabinet wrap project. So these are utility cabinets. Like I said, they do the stoplights in our community. And recently the uh, Bremerton Arts Commission has taken on the project to wrap these with beautiful art. Sin, this is really a great, really great project. But Sin has worked in parks and recreation for a long, long time. Tell us what your duties are at parks and with the Arts Commission. Well, I, my division is arts, culture, and recreation. So I do all kinds of community programs, special events, and I am the Arts Commission liaison, which means I get to work with the Arts Commission Excellent. on all these exciting projects. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so how many folks are on the Arts Commission, Sin? Uh, seven representatives. They're volunteers. They apply in the ma uh, to the mayor and get selected by the mayor to serve on the commission. The Arts Commission was founded in 2005. Um, City Council passed an ordinance mm -hmm. so that allows them to have 1% of the arts put aside from like capital projects. Right. Um, and then that's the primary source of funding, but we also get scholarships and donations. Excellent, mm -hmm. great. So the RAP project, you've probably seen them. There are two already in our community. The corner of 11th and High, and then down at the base of 6th Street at Washington, mm -hmm. is that correct? Yes. Tell us a little bit about those. So probably like 2015, that was our first project and Public Works came to the Arts Commission and said, hey, you know, like, we want to cover these cabinets with graffiti-proof um, vinyl. And this stuff is really cool because you can, like, spray paint it and then squirt some stuff and it just slides, slides off right like that, off. saving lots of manpower hours and everything nice. for Public Works. Nice. So they wanted the Arts Commission to select the art kind of like form an art library because they have 39 of these cabinets um, up for replacement in the city. So we could have that, you know, oh, many of them done. Nice. So Public Works already had it in their budget and everything, and so all the Arts Commission had to do is select the art, and then um, they decided they wanted to give an art stipend to all of the artists that um, are chosen. Nice. So there's a $500 art stipend awarded to each artist selected for their their work. So the first artist selected was Amy Burnett mm -hmm. for the location of 6th and Washington. And she did a beautiful piece called Salmon Woman. Yep. And she even wrote an accompany story with it. Oh. Yeah. And then the second one was done by an artist named Joshua Fisher on High and 11. Mm -hmm. And it's called Beautiful Places, and mm -hmm. it's bright and colorful, and it fits in really well. That was one of the boxes that were um, vandalized the most at that location. At that location, I don't know why. And high. But in, so anyway, we have an open call for art. So anytime anyone wants to uh, submit art for the art library, we keep it on file. We don't know, you know, like I said, the fund is only like so big, and. Mm -hmm there's only so much money mm -hmm. to um, pay for these utility cabinets. So we have sponsorship opportunities. So our first sponsor is Olympic College who offered to pay for one of the utility um, wraps if the Arts Commission paid for the other one. But we had to select the artists from Olympic College visual um, arts class. That's yeah, easy. great. So yeah. 19 students from this class um, all did this as a, uh, an assignment. The teacher selected the top six. Then he came to the Arts Commission uh, meeting, and the teacher's name is Michael Laughlin. Laughlin, Michael mm -hmm. Laughlin. Anyway, came to the meeting, did this beautiful presentation of this art. And I don't know how, because I liked all six pieces really <laughs> well, but they um, selected the... Uh, 
the top two also based on the location of where the art was going to be. So the first one they selected was um, by an artist named Gretchen Lund, mm -hmm. and it's going to be on Marine Drive and Kitsap Way. Oh, so very, these are the two cabinets wow. right here behind us. It's a little unique than the other projects that we had because there's two cabinets side by side. So we'll have to wrap the art around both cabinets together to create her art. And then, of course, all the sides and the top and everything is wrapped, too. So mm -hmm. it'll really um, stand out on that corner. So but help me visualize this. And this one piece of art is going to go on both of these, or is it the same art on each one? Is it the same art will be blown up and wrapped because they're side by side. So it would okay. be like one large box, but really there's two boxes. What, there's two boxes? Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. And then the next one is done by an artist named Lisa Zhu. And it's um, going to be on 13th and uh, Warren Avenue right in front of the college. Great. So um, it's beautiful art, too. Mm -hmm. We'll just wait and see. Mm -hmm. Both of these boxes should be installed by the end of this month. By the end of October. Yeah. Great, great. Now, Sin, there's a different process you explained to me that um, these, the bo utility boxes were, the first time this was done, the boxes were installed on site, then the art was put on. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to do it a little bit differently. Just for these two, the one on uh, 11th and, or 13th and Warren will be installed on site. Oh, okay. Okay. Last time, the other two, it was sort of in the spring and the, the weather was windy and cold and they had to pitch like a little tent over each one of them because uh, temperature control is really important. They heat the vinyl with the mm -hmm. torch and that's mm -hmm. what stretches it on mm -hmm. um, and helps it stick. Mm -hmm. so they did a really good job. I picture it to be kind of like um, you see cars and vehicles and vans with vinyl yeah. stuff mm -hmm. on them. Yeah, yeah, it's the same stuff. You right. can get it stuck on anything. <laughs> So who actually does the wrap? Who puts that on? Is it the manufacturer? Well, it, we uh, work with a, a company called Traffic Wraps. Nice. And now they use um, an install team that they've trained and everything with their product from Seattle. So they'll come over and do it. Mm -hmm. Before, they had to use a gentleman that came all the way from Florida. Because wow. their vinyl isn't just any vinyl. It's top-of-the-line special mm -hmm. vinyl. Jeff Collins from Electronics, he selected this company based on the quality of their, mm -hmm. their vinyl for the wraps. Excellent. I think we didn't mention the d different departments that are involved mm -hmm. in this project. Of course, Parks and Recreation with SIN's leadership, the mayor's office, because mm -hmm. she chooses folks to be on the Arts Commission. She mm -hmm. probably gets to look at some of the art before it's chosen. Oh, yeah, she's the first person I show it to. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. Yeah. And then, of course, our public works team, because this is their bailiwick installing these utility cabinets. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really great project. So there's opportunities, number one, for more art. Mm -hmm. If you are an artist, you know somebody who's an artist. Mm -hmm. And then also if you're looking, if your business is looking for to sponsor mm -hmm. some really cool projects around mm -hmm. our city. How do folks get information on that, Sim? Well, they can go to the Arts Commission um, page that's on the city's website, and there's an open call to art on there that kind of just explains some of the perimeters. But um, the best thing to do is email me or call me, and I, you know, I can give you a lot more information if you talk to me personally. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Anyway, that way is probably the best way, and I can tell you all the different opportunities and things and how it works. Mm -hmm. So really a win-win for our city. Number mm -hmm. one, art, visual, mm -hmm. public art. Mm -hmm. Number two, graffiti. Yeah. It, it man hours, save, saves man saves hours. Saves a lot of right. time in man hours, exactly. Mm -hmm. Before they'd have to come out with whatever it was that would remove mm -hmm. that, physically scrub it. So this, mm -hmm. you point something at it and you, mm -hmm. you... And then number three would be that the artists themselves get a stipend and the experience to design public art that will be shown throughout the community. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. From what I understand, the um, instructor at the college really talked about these young women mm -hmm. who really are first year art students mm -hmm. and 
Mm -hmm. What they learned is actually now taken them almost to a four-year student mm -hmm. of what a, a student of mm -hmm. art in their fourth year would know. And, and hopefully we'll be able to do the same sponsorship with the college again next year because it is like part of their uh, program or curriculum for that mm -hmm. class. And nice. they, they're great partners to work with. And David Emmons from the foundation. Um, foundation is the one who secured the sponsorship awesome. for us. So it was a great partnership, and I hope we can continue that. And we did get another sponsorship, too. Nice. From Port Madison Enterprises. Excellent. So they're uh, sponsoring a, a box, and we use a local um, um, Snohomish. 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 <laughs> tribal tribal <Thank> member. <laughs> Sorry. Um, to do the art. And they selected the artist and... Uh, and we're just waiting to get the art, and we're really excited to see what um, the artist nice. comes up with. And do you have a location? Yes, we do. That, box that one go? will be on um, Naval and 11th. Okay. Sin, thanks so much for your time today. You did a great job. I can't think of anybody else to be a better leader for this group. Your passion oh, you. for art and culture is phenomenal. Mm. And thanks for joining us inside Bremerton. We'll see you next time.